Paul Harrington or Charlie McGattigan, the Bihatal Festival, the Eurovision, the Senalia Dit, the Metzal, the Rock and Roll Kids. Hi, welcome. Welcome, Paul. Welcome, Charlie. Well, who knows how many times this question has been put to you? I saw it, I saw you uh, on television during the afternoon. I was uh, going to ask this question. I had John asking the same question, but I'm going to ask it again. Uh, what's the secret behind Ireland's successes in the Eurovision Song Festival? You've been winning now for the past three years, am I right? Yes, but every time this question has been asked, I've always let Charlie answer this question, but I'm going to answer this time. Because this is what he says. He says it's because we're... Perhaps you might, we might have a different answer this time. Yes, it's because we're the best. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> well, I can get the impression that half of the audience are in agreement, in complete agreement with you. The others perhaps hoping that we might um, form a threat to Ireland during the next festival. Well, uh, what we've been hearing tonight, I mean, things are looking good. And maybe just, uh, once again, everyone could give all the contestants a big round of applause. They've been sounding great. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> if, I could, uh, if I could also say thanks to, thanks to Malta for uh, voting and helping us win last year. Thanks again. <laughs> it was because you deserved it. <laughs> Charlie, what was the most important, the single most important effect of winning the Eurovision Song Festival? Well, from our point of view, I think it was because we got to sing a song that we really enjoyed singing. And uh, I think it's a, a pointer for all contestants in Eurovision to sing from the heart rather for the money. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Well, we're, of course, very familiar with your song, Rock and Roll Kids. But uh, do you consider this song as a true sample of the kind of music you usually present to your audiences? Yes, it is. Well, that was one of the main reasons why we... Uh, kind of agreed to sing the song in the contest because it was, it, it was very close, not far removed from, this, from both our styles of music. Uh, so we have a little rule uh, that we don't sing a song we don't like. Well, and I leave you to your music now. Signori, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Harrington, Charlie McGettigan. Thank you. Two. Hello. We're in the back here now. Bit more of this. Minor adjustment here. That's more like it. Oh, look at this. Hang on a sec. Sorry to be holding up here now, but we have a small stand problem. Let's see if we can get around this. So just chat among yourselves while I fix this microphone. Charlie, would you like to tell us tell a story, you know? Well, this is a, a person called Mike here who gives us trouble occasionally, but uh, if we give him a slap on the head, he should be all right. How do you feel now, Paul? Uh, fantastic. Uh, anyway, you know, I'm Paul Harrington, this is Charlie McGettigan, and the reason why we're here is because of a song called Rock and Roll Kids, and we'd like to do it for you now. Thank you. Johnny's in love with the girl next door 
Mary's down at the record store They don't want to be Around us no more Golden oldies but we hardly speak Too busy running to a different beat Hard to understand We were once like that how I wish we could find those rock and roll days again We were the rock and roll kids Rock and roll was all we did Listening to those songs on the radio and I was yours and you were mine That was once Part of time, now we never seem to rock and roll anymore. I was yours and you were mine. That was once a part of time. Now we never seem to rock and roll. We just never seem to rock and roll. Thank you very much. Thank you. Incidentally, uh, I'm Charlie and that's Paul, in case you're confused. But you can call me Paul if you like, I don't mind. Um, one, of the, well, one or two or three of the nicest things that have happened to us uh, since Eurovision, uh, one of them is that I actually got to meet Paul and uh, I didn't know him personally before Eurovision at all and it's been a privilege to work with him for the last nine months. Thank you. Uh, one of the other things is we get to play in lovely theatres like this, and we've had a fantastic time here in Malta. People from the Department of Culture have looked after us really well. Excellent. And I think we've looked after them as well. Yes, we? we have. <laughs> but uh, w the third thing was that we actually got to make an album together, uh, which was, uh, well, it was, it was different, let's say. We have it <laughs> but it it's was fun. Go ahead. No, I was just saying it was fun. What yeah. he was really saying was every, every now and again we kind of... Uh, we had a few fights, but uh, we, got, we got through it. That's really what he wanted to say. So um, we're going to do a song from the album now, and hopefully it'll reach Malta at some stage or other. It's an old England Dan and John Ford Cody song called I'd Really Love to See You Tonight. Hello, yeah, it's been a while. Not much. How about you? Not sure why I called, I guess I really just wanted to talk to you I was thinking maybe later on, we could get together for a while It's been such a long time, and I really do miss your smile I'm not talking about moving in, and I don't want to change your Park, or take a drive along the beach Stay home and watch TV You see it really doesn't matter much to me I'm not talking about moving in And I don't want to change your life But there's a warm wind blowing The stars are out And I'd really love to see you tonight I won't ask for promises So you don't have to lie We both played this game before Say I love you, say goodbye I'm not talking about moving in And I don't want to change your life But there's a warm wind blowing The stars are out And I'd really love to see you to see you I'm not talking about moving in And I don't want to change your life But there's a warm wind blowing The stars are out And I'd really love to see you Really love to see you I'm not talking about moving in And I don't want to change your life But there's a warm wind blowing The stars are out I'd really love to see you, really 
love to see you I'm not talking about Melanie And I don't want to change your life But there's a warm wind blowing the stars are out And I'd really love to see you Really love to see you I'm not talking about Melanie Thank you! Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, just going to sing a song, uh, a, a rather slow uh, song from, from our album. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to mention something. I didn't want it to go unnoticed or maybe you'd think that we, we weren't thinking about it. But we, we are very aware that there was a dreadful tragedy on the island uh, yesterday. And uh, we'd like to take this opportunity, if we could, just to extend our deepest sympathy to all of the families involved, and uh, also from all of the people of Ireland. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a song, as I say, from the album called uh, Maybe She Went Crazy. Time had taken a turn for the worst. One day a blessing in one is a curse. So, like a barter to a state of grace, she disappeared without a trace. All anyone could say was that she simply went away. Years turned to yesterdays I can remember when I was a child Her shining eyes and her sweet smile To the night that she came home way past dark What she brought home was a gold Whatever made the change Had a face she would never name and She wrote it down under lock and chain Maybe she took a walk out across the sand Cause the pain would never she went all the way to the deepest end Rumors abound, history's hazy
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, Charlie has a story to tell you now. This next song is a song I wrote years and years ago about my own children, and it sort of says to any, any parents who have children, and, and as they go off out into the world, you should always make them feel that no matter how bad things get or if they get into trouble, that there's always a home that they can come back home. And uh, I'm going to dedicate this especially to a little girl we met tonight from Malta, a girl called Charlene, who uh, chatted to us all the way in from the hotel, and she's chattering all night. She could chat. She could chat. By God, she could chat as good as an Irish woman. There's no doubt about <laughs> it. And uh, we'll also dedicate it. Thank you. We dedicated to Annabe uh, Annabelle, who took such great care of us, and Joe, who drove us around uh, for the last two or three days. They were fantastic. This is a song called Feet of a Dancer.
Thank you very much. It's been all too quick for us. Uh, unfortunately, we've got to go and uh, make way for the big event, of course. Tonight is the voting and uh, the results, of course. So we'd like to wish all the contestants best of luck. Fingers crossed. And uh, we're going to finish uh, with uh, another song from our new album, which may be released in Malta sometime, sometime okay. before we're old and grey. Just before we go, can I just say, uh, it's rare that we get a chance to play to such a, a warm audience. You're absolutely, absolutely, I think you should give yourselves a round of yes. applause. You're fantastic. Great. Thank you and good night. What's this one? Song called Child of the Wild Beyonder.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Good, Good night. night. Thank you. Thank you.